Hey, good morning. This is Jay here for the Oregon Fly Fishing Blog. We're going to do a 5-inch Predator Tube Fly today. Uh, this is something that you can fish in fresh or salt water. The thing I'm trying to show you here is uh, putting the Predator Tube on the Predator Needle. These, these needles can be cut after you know what size flies you're going to be tying. I'm tying on the full needle today, so it's a little bit awkward to work around. Uh, we're going to start out, uh, do the belly, and basically the belly and the body of this fly with a, uh, it's a Fairflies 5D craft, what's well, not craft fur, it's fish fur, it's a fish fur brush. This is a very full brush with what you might think of as craft fur. But it's actually, I think, a superior product. I'm going to take about three turns here. This is very full, and I'm just making sure that the material um, doesn't get wound underneath itself. So a little bit of preening. Uh, I'm going to trim it here. You could make this body longer, uh, but for this, uh, and for some flies, you could just use one turn. For this fly, I think about three turns is about right. I'm lashing it down securely. Uh, I've got my little uh, dubbing teaser there, which I've become quite fond of lately. The wing, the back is going to be an SF blend in um, bronze back. So here I'm separating out a little bit, and I'm going to double this over. So I'm putting the short piece, uh, the short section underneath, and then folding the long section over. And I'll probably put a little bit of uh, Loctite in there, just to, just for extra security. Now, if you wanted to make a longer wing, you could, um, you could use. Uh, I think the the full length of this is about eight inches. There's my big hank of uh, Flashaboo. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm picking out some, uh, it's silver and black holographic uh, flashaboo, and I was measuring it there. I want it to be as, about as long as the back, tied in on the far side of my fly first, and then I'm just, uh, I'm just going to fold that back a little bit and trim the short ends of the butts. Uh, there we go. There we go. Now I'm going to put a uh, I'll call it a, either a head or a face on this fly. Uh, very often, uh, bait fish will have a darker head. Um, and I'm going to spin this from strung fuzzy fiber. I'm choosing a brown. You could use an olive. Uh, you could use a yellow or red. And lots of options here. Uh, so I spun my little loop and I'm teasing out the trapped, trapped fibers, uh, wrapping it around. Now you can actually trim this material too. And I've actually, I've, I've used my scissors to thin it out a little bit on the underside. So the head isn't, uh, so the fuzzy fiber isn't quite as dense on the underside of the fly. This fly will keel very nicely with the hook itself and uh, with the wing, the back material. The front, uh, I wanted to finish this off with a nice bright come and get me color. Uh, this is a chartreuse, it's a Fairflies um, 5D. It's a chartreuse brush. It's got rubber legs in it, uh, really cool rubber legs and a little bit of flash. Um, I think I used about two turns there. Now I'm just making sure I don't have trapped fibers and nothing like a little bit of Loctite to, uh, you know, it, it's difficult. Uh, it's not, it's not impossible. It's difficult to, to whip finish around that long needle. And I have not trimmed this needle to suit my, my custom needs. So I just got some Loctite on my thread. And uh, do six, eight turns, and you're good. Now, this is a Pro Sport Fisher Predator cone. It fits naturally 
on their uh, Predator tube. So I'm going to finish off this tube by burnishing the end. And here we have it. Really nice uh, Predator tube fly, fresh or salt water, in about a 5 inch version. Hope you've had fun tying this fly. We have all the materials available on our website and we'd love to see you in the shop any day of the week. So thank you for joining us. I hope to see you out on the river.